Yeah, much of the day uh, is going to be pretty good. Now, this afternoon, the clouds increase, and I would say after 4 o'clock, Vince, we'll look for the rain and storms to move in. Keeping an eye on Lake Michigan, still just a few inches below the all-time record high water level for Lake Michigan. That that record goes back to October in 1986. And with a pretty strong system moving in, a tropical depression moving in, I think this is only going, we're only going to get closer to that all-time record, if not maybe exceed this record uh, by the end of the week as all that water works its way into Lake Michigan. Uh, with the storm chaser right now, we have a current temperature of 59 degrees comfy out here. I'm like right on the edge of no fleece or fleece uh, this morning. Uh, again, you should be good for when you head out probably in just a shirt. All right, arrival of crystal balls. We head into the afternoon. Uh, rain and wind set to arrive this evening and then cooler for the end of the week here. Storm 4 Max radar. This morning, quiet conditions. Don't have to worry about anything. We're going to have lots of sunshine to start. Here is the latest of crystal ball. Still a tropical depression with 30 mile per hour winds. It's kind of losing a little bit of its tropical characteristics here, not noticing that center of circulation as well defined here. Now, as we go through future forecast, uh, you can see as we go through the day, uh, mostly sunny skies again. It looks really, really good to start. Now, the clouds increase by 2 o'clock, still probably dry then. I would say after 4 o'clock, that's when rain and storms become more likely. Raining pretty good at 6 o'clock, a few rumbles of thunder. And then as we head into the overnight hours, I think after midnight, we dry out again. But we'll start dry on Wednesday. But then on the back side of the system with the cold front, I think we see more showers and storms develop uh, tomorrow afternoon. But those look to be pretty scattered. And then uh, they'll continue into tomorrow night as well. And possibly even a stray shower still to go on Thursday. Uh, future rainfall computer models again are showing the heaviest of rain uh, setting up across our central and northern spots. Uh, whereas here in Milwaukee, uh, we may end up with around an inch of rain. In fact, this computer model shows less than that. You can see here on a little closer look here of future rainfall, uh, you can see maybe some of our northwestern spots end up with uh, one to two inches of rain, uh, probably an inch or less uh, for Milwaukee and to the south here. Uh, as far as severe weather goes, a marginal risk for severe weather. One thing that we will keep an eye on, tropical systems, they tend to have a sheared environment that we could get like brief little spin-up tornadoes, uh, but I'm not overly concerned about that at this point. It's just something to keep in mind uh, later on this afternoon and evening as the storm moves in. So increasing clouds and breezy, rain and storms late, a high of 76 degrees. For tonight, a low temperature of 68 degrees. Showers and storms early and windy. And here is your seven-day forecast. Now, tomorrow again, scattered showers and storms, far from an all-day rain, 77. On Thursday, 75, with a slight chance of showers on Thursday, especially early, also windy. And then we're dry into the weekend, but cooler. Highs are only going to be in the 60s in Milwaukee. Milwaukee, inland in the lower 70s, but the bright sunny skies will be nice, very similar to last weekend, Vince.